Hey guys, and welcome to another segment of Rousal World. Today we're going to be doing a quick caricature drawing of a Fetty Wap full color. So let's go ahead and get started. And go ahead and uh, start with the cheekbones here. What we're doing here, guys, is let me, if you'll bear with me here, I'm just trying to get my basic shape down before I go uh, too far off into the drawing. So that's this is just the part that has to be done. And then I'll just make the bottom of the braid here, you know, like you see how we're doing it here, just one big shape. Okay, now guys, I'm going to go ahead and we're going to start doing the braid, the uh, the inner features of the face. Okay, so what I'm going to do here, I'm going to, let me see. We're going to. So what I'm doing here, guys, I'm just going ahead and doing the nose real quick. So just let me do that real quick. Now I'm going to go ahead and put the lips here. All right, guys. Now, what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and we're going to start uh, doing the uh, coloring portion of the drawing. So real quick, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to break out my pastel here. Okay, we got our uh, in this color here. It's a, uh, it's kind of like a red, like a brown with a little bit of orange in it. And uh, what we're gonna do here? We're gonna do a little bit of coloring. And when you color guys it's all about you seeing like when you're doing your lines it's kind of all about um, seeing your basic shape first don't get caught up in overalls too fast just the basic shape of whatever part of the face you're coloring so I'm just using the darks in the picture to kind of give me an idea of where I want to go to
And you don't have to worry about shape. With this, we, what we're going to do, we're going to use our... Uh, we're going to use my uh, uh, a shader to kind of blend down the color a little bit. But uh, you don't really have to worry about that when you first start coloring. You just kind of go with it. Almost there, guys. Okay. All right, so what we're going to do now, we're going to go ahead and start shading it down. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, uh, have a piece of toilet paper here. So, uh... We're just going to use that toilet paper and kind of, you know, just blend it in real quick. The fun part about pastels, guys, is it doesn't really take a great deal of time to uh, color a picture with them. Usually when I'm doing uh, a party or an event... I like to use these uh, to color my drawings in, and sometimes I, I, I like to use uh, airbrush too. Um, I haven't really done any um, any videos on airbrush, but I'll be able to uh, do some of those here in the near future. Kind of show you guys uh, that all art is connected. If you know how to use a pen, you can use a pencil, you can use an airbrush. You can use it all. Real quick, guys. I just want to take my pencil here. I want to clean out that eyebrow, right, that eye right there. Make sure we preserve our whites. Okay. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to come back with that same color. And I'm going to make some shade. Just like that. We're going to make it look a little bit more 3D. <sighs> Almost there, guys. Awesome. Okay, and now what I'm going to do, I'm just going to use this same color here to color on that top lip. And then I'm just going to pull to the bottom lip. See how I did that? Just pulled it in. Okay. Now, guys, uh, let me go ahead and get out this. Uh, we have a, we're going to use a brown here. And we're going to color in the eyes. And real quick, once again, I want to make sure my, my whites are preserved there. And I'm going to use this brown color in that eye real quick okay awesome now guys let's go ahead and uh we're going to use what we we're going to use like an orange and a brown and we're going to use that to kind of do our braids okay so uh actually i'm going to use a brown and a yellow mm. okay so what i'm going to do here I'm just coloring in this hair. And then we'll come back 
and we're gonna use a little yellow and I'm gonna show you guys a, a little trick from the old school <laughs> okay not to say that I'm old I'm just saying it's from the old school <laughs> okay so let's let me go ahead finish this up here awesome And that front part we'll just use black because his hair is darker at the roots. So now, real quick guys, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take this yellow. And I'm just going to go over the top of that. You see how it makes the, the color look more vibrant and alive. And we'll come back and add a little bit more brown. But we don't want to get. We don't want to put too much. I think I got some more braid here at the bottom I need to get. So let me just. There we go. Now I'll put a little bit more brown. Okay. And now guys, let me go ahead and we're gonna switch over to our black. Okay, so I got my black marker here. And I'm gonna do the Go ahead and hook his uh, goatee up here. Okay, I'm gonna go back over this dark here and this dark here. Okay, and then I'm gonna do the same thing here. awesome and I'm just going to use it on my braids just a little bit guys just to give them a little bit more you know volume and depth don't try this at home I'm a trained professional <laughs> almost there guys Okay. Now, uh, last but not least, guys, we're about to start closing out here. I'm going to go back over um, here. I'm just going to make it where he has like a little bit of stubble feel. You know what I mean? Where it has a little realistic ends on it. Okay. Go back over those eyebrows again. Okay. I'm going to go back over this part here. Awesome. All right, and now all we gotta do, we're gonna come back here. We got us a little. We're gonna get us a little bit of. Uh, looks like it might be some green here. So I'm gonna use. I don't know what that says, but I'm just gonna use it like a. Like his uh. Put his uh. Tattoos here. Awesome. And then it looks like this one here might be like a red cross or something. Yeah. And then last but not least, let's go ahead and uh, give him his little mustache there. 
awesome. All right, guys. Well, pretty much, that's it. I think we came out with a pretty good drawing here. So I'm going to go ahead and put his name. Fetty Wap in full color. So we'll even give him, you know, we'll just put some kind of, I'm going to put my John Hancock right here. I want to take this time, guys, to thank you for watching our video and our tutorial. Uh, we'll be posting more videos and tutorials soon. If you'd like to see your favorite uh, celebrity featured on our show and drawn as a cartoon, guys, don't hesitate to uh, message us here at YouTube on our uh, message page or our message or comment section. Excuse me. We'll go ahead and put you on the list and get you taken care of. As always, guys, we appreciate your continued support of our channel and. Uh, you guys have a blessed and wonderful day. I hope you guys, uh, Fetty Wap, came out cool at home. All right, guys. Have a good day.